How's it going YouTube? Back with another sugar-free review. Got a new QB here today. This is the KB360G or the Tidious. Let's check out the box. Not a whole lot to it. It is a little bit better than their normal packaging, but you get some foam a card and a microfiber cloth and here's the knife now there's a ton of different versions of this knife this is the newest release it's got this spiral looking titanium on it looks very cool um, of course they got plain titanium purple green silver blue but yeah they only got this in blue and gold this is a hundred dollars retail very solid price and you can find deals on that most of the time too like I paid quite a bit less than that um, let's go over the specs you got a 3.39 inch 14 c 28 m blade bead blast finish flat grind drop point um, it says on the website their 14 c is heat treated from 60 to 62 cry cryo so if that's true, it's done very well. Let's see how it cuts. Pretty decent factory edge. You got a 3.1 millimeter blade stock or 0.12 inches. An overall length of 8.15 inches. So definitely a full size knife. Let's compare it to some other knives. Got the Kanu Padre. Just about the same size. The Civivi Bull Tusk. Again, very close to the same size. These two might be a little bit bigger, but very close. I don't even have the camera facing the right way. There we go. Got my only other titanium QB, at least for this week, the Royal. Uh, quite a bit smaller, and the CJRB Lago. And uh, one more Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. Just a little bit bigger. Got a 4.76 inch handle, 0.51 inches wide. The clothes width in the pocket from here to here is 1.53 inches. You got T8 on your screws all the way around except for your clip, which is T6s. Got a weight of 4.75 ounces, very lightweight. Or not very lightweight, but it's a solid weight for this size at least. Yeah. You do have a deep carry titanium clip, non-reversible it looks like. Looks just like they're still clips, so nothing special. But it is inset. The handle, of course, like I said, is this gold titanium. The spirals cut it into it. I'm not sure why they didn't go all the way to the end of the handle. Maybe they're just new at this and didn't figure it out. Or maybe they meant to do that. And there's also the blue. Too bad they didn't do a purple one like this. Oh, we got it instead. I'm not usually big on stuff that's been anodized, but didn't really have a choice. Yeah. This is a frame lock. Good access. Drops very nicely. You got a flipper tab. Plenty of jimping. You also got the reverse flick. Very solid detent. Very snappy. And 
It's got a nice sound too. It sounds better when it closes. That's weird. Yeah, no backspacer. And it does appear the hardware is titanium too. Except for this barrel spacer. Um, yeah. No sharpening tool though. They don't want you to sharpen it. You gotta buy a new one when it gets dull. I don't know why they couldn't have made that go a little bit farther. But does look like you can cut your own choil in if you need to. This locks on this knife. It, I understand why you do your bead blast on your cheaper models, but you make a titanium knife with bead blasts. I mean, why? Why? Why, QB? The uh, clip's not reversible. I know that'll bug some people. Um, the design not going all the way to the edge of the handle kind of bugs me. And of course, the sharpening tool. But overall, very good looking knife. Decent edge, great price. Hard to pass on. I will link these down below if I can find them in stock. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and a comment and see you in the next video.